Hello, my name is Adam, and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. If you are a brand new subscriber, then I hope you stick around and I hope you also enjoy the content. So over the past two to three months, I would say I have been collecting quite a few more pieces. And in today's video, I just kind of want to go over those pieces as well as show you how I would also style those pieces. I'm still working on talking to the camera, like talking to you guys basically. I'm a little bit more open to it now. It's the problem with it is that I feel like if I make a mistake, then I think my problem with recording in front of the camera like this is trying my hardest to not really make mistakes. I kind of have like that one shot mind, if that makes sense. Like, I just want to do everything in one take, no cuts, just to save time. And I kind of feel like that isn't really working for me. And I just have to sit down and really plan out things and how I'm just going to go over a video, which has been working, I would say. So sorry if I still seem a little bit more awkward or everything, still getting used to everything. But yeah, um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy and stick around. Right now, I feel like fashion has kind of hit like this wall. It feels very stale in terms of like all these micro trends that everybody is just kind of like copying and pasting. I'm talking about like the parachute pants, sambas, new bounces, stuff that you would mostly see on the explore page and every, all those things like that keep getting reposted. So I just feel like putting a little bit of spotlight on my personal style, which is kind of hard to explain, honestly. I would say it's more like a mix of vintage and designer pieces, something along the lines of that. In today's video, that's kind of just what I'm going to go over. I hope people find it helpful, maybe get a little bit of inspiration out of it. So yeah, let's get right into the first piece of this collection. So the first piece I wanted to talk about and show is this Balenciaga Fall Winter 2019 Swing Flannel. Of course, Balenciaga is very known for making outrageous designs when it comes to the silhouettes of their garments. But I feel like this flannel is a little bit of a mix between a traditional flannel and something more of a unique design. So what really drew me to this flannel was the way how it sits on your body, especially when you look at it from a side profile. It has this really unique cut and shape to it that you don't, you really, of course, wouldn't see on any other flannel. And because of this, it creates just unique silhouettes and proportions and allows you to, uh, it just gives you a lot of room to play around and mess with it. What's unique about this is that you can also button up the middle parts of it and then pull the flannel up and create a whole different silhouette, I would say. It kind of evens itself out at the bottom. You can also have a off the shoulder kind of thing. But overall, it's a really nice flannel. Usually these ones sit around five to six hundred dollars. Luckily, I was able to get mine for around four hundred, I believe. Retail on these flannels were around twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars, somewhere around there. Balenciaga is just crazy with its prices. But yeah, overall, I would say really good flannel. It's padded on the inside, so of course it will keep you warm. And just in general, it's just a really nice piece to have. You can style it up, you can style it down. You can kind of just do whatever you want with it and kind of treat it as if it were a traditional flannel with that added flair to it. How I would style this is I would probably just put like a basic t-shirt, probably some denim, some boots, just to keep it simple. The design of the flannel with the pattern is kind of loud. So I just kind of tone it down with the rest of the outfit so that it can help even it out, I guess I would say. But overall, Good flannel, really good pickup. Really am happy about how this one fits to my body. So the next pickups that I have is not one, but two pairs of Helmet Lane painter jeans. Basically, there really isn't much to talk about in terms of just what they are. I mean, it's just a pair of denim with paint splatters on it. I actually don't know what year this first pair is from. I think it's anywhere from 1997 to maybe early 2000s. Don't quote me on that. But 
But regardless, it's still a very nice pair of jeans. This one has a little bit more of a skinnier, skinnier tapered fit to me. The only problem I would say that I would have with this pair is that it's a little bit long on my legs, so I would either have to cuff it or probably get it tailored. These jeans have been a grail for me, I would say, so it's just a nice thing to have in the collection, just a simple pair of denim, basically with just paint splatters on them. So that's the first pair. And the second pair is this all over paint splatter. I would say that this is the more recognizable painter denims from Helmet Lang. It's just a little bit more louder. Since these pants kind of have like a more punk inspired look, I would just keep the same theme of wearing boots with them. And then I would add a more distressed, rugged kind of hoodie on top, probably like a faded hoodie on top, just to keep the whole rugged look, I would say. But yeah, if you're able to find if you're able to find these pants for a good good price, they hold up really well. A lot of these pairs are now reaching like 20 years old. And they're just a great pair of denim. Really good investment piece as well. Really holds up, really holds its price. And yeah, that's gonna be the helmet laying denim. So the next thing that I have to show is this pair of Guidi 988 back zips. I literally just had to take them off my feet because I was wearing them the entire time. But regardless, the whole reason why I wanted to get these boots is because I wanted something with a better clean silhouette that can basically just be thrown on with almost any outfit. It's a really good staple to have in your collection if you can find one for a pretty good price. Luckily, I was able to get mine for around like $500, I think, my size too. Little problem with them is that they are, they do fit a little bit big, but just put some insoles, put like a thick sock, double sock, shout out if you know about the double sock method. These are just my first pair of Guidis and I'm really happy and excited to finally own a pair of high quality boots. So, so keeping the same idea of having staples in your collection, I have also picked up a few faders. These ones are pretty cheap. They fit well. They just have overall a nice color to them. If you're starting into fashion and you don't know where to start, I would say I would say start with basic cheap blanks. Russell being a good example of that. They have basically every color you can think of. They have all the I want to say most of the garments fit pretty good to the body. You can find them basically anywhere. You can find vintage ones. You can buy brand new. Just a really good, simple, basic brand to get into. One thing I would say about trying to find faded hoodies like this is that the market is oversaturated right now with resellers trying to sell Russell hoodies for like $100. Don't buy Russell hoodies for $100. Just be patient about it. You'll find cheap ones for, I want to say, under 40 bucks, 20, 30 bucks at most is what you want to be spending for these but uh yeah just give it some time you'll find something so this last item in this collection isn't really like a clothing item but it's a bag this is a capital country borrow bag that i was able to get for my friend it's kind of just been like my daily bag you just have nice details everywhere it's borrow of course really high quality really expensive as well but like I said it's just my bag that I've been carrying everywhere I throw everything inside this so holds up fine nothing really much else to say about it other than the fact that it's been a grail of mine I mean everything has been a grail of mine so yeah <clears throat> Again, I do apologize for being a little bit awkward on camera. I'm still getting used to doing all of this. I hope that gave a little bit more insight into how I would style myself. So yeah, I am very happy with where my wardrobe stands at right now. Uh, a lot of these pieces, of course, are things I've been wanting to collect for a while now. So I am very grateful to be able to say I own them. And yeah. Hope you guys like that little segment of me going over everything. Um, let's just get right into the rest of this video. Thank you for watching.
people and rocks and pebbles. Come on. How much did you get them for again? Um, three fifty. Three fifty. <laughs> His size. We were sitting here talking about core. I mean, here you come with the blood. Down. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Kind of crazy. We just all just taking pictures, huh? Picture What were you looking at in uh, Bottega? <laughs> I want the foil chair. The foil yeah. chair. Are they not open today? Knock on the door. <coughs> Knock on the door. Yeah, go get yourself some of those tire boots. Yeah. I think no, you have to you have to go to the other side. Like honestly I've seen pictures of them online and I wasn't fucking with them like that. Which ones? Like the brown colorway. Like but they go kinda hard in person. I do. These are these are the croc boots. I haven't seen these, these are really different. Yeah, what socks are you wearing? I'm wearing some thick ass fucking Amazon socks. How you feel? What size are those? 42. They actually did pretty good. Maybe a different pair of pants. Like this kind of, <laughs> it's kind of wild. Cause like, look at the shape of the men's boots. And then look at the shape of the women's boots. Yeah. They have like a nicer arch right here. I like, I like this one. This one's the nice. White one. The white and the black. Would you count? Yeah, maybe. Depends on the fit. I know you want the booger greens though. Oh yeah. This, these are. It's just all green. The Grinch, the Grinch room. <laughs> the Grinch room. Oh my gosh, you know, you're like six, six. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they're hard. Yeah. I would say if you roll them up, because like we. Trading those with a bro, but if he doesn't come through, they're on the table. Okay, bet. Because like honestly, I'd take, I'd take either. Because those go for like two grand, hmm. and not. Yeah, honestly, when I put them on, I like them a lot better. Yeah. Like, cause like looking at them, I they was look like, really good on you, man. Yeah, like, I kind of like how they conform to my foot. Like, cause most forces they fit fat on my foot. Wait, these are wearable. Yeah. yeah. Huh? These are wearable. They mean you... they're oh. wearable. Okay. Straight crumbles. <laughs> what what were these again? Those are the HTM wow. twos. They're the Croc leather. So these are the predecessor to uh, what would have been the, the one, which is just the flat leather. Uh, so it has like a crocodile. These are also numbered, and I think that's one seventy eight out of one thousand three hundred. Mm, you? Yeah. Friends and family pair goes for like twenty grand because it mm. has the the fragment logo on the side. I was gonna do a jug since there's such a low number. I was gonna fucking do it. I was gonna get it embroidered. Oh, here. There you go. This is the queens are great on you, man. Yeah, so, they do. See, I need to go put on some leather. These are my. Uh, I need to go put some leather to complete the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're gonna live at. This, yeah. this is what I'm wearing when I go Safeway shopping now. Straight Safeway. Safeway. <laughs> Safeway. Bro, high key, that's what I'd be wearing all the time. Like, I'll, honestly, my go to fit is like. Look at the, look at the side silhouette of this. Okay. Yeah. Ah, boy, hunch. Go! Actually, the headphones. Just some extra, extra height. Let me see. Show them, show them, the belt. What's, what's on, on the belt? belt? The Vivi, the Vivi. The Vivi on the belt. Honestly, this belt. <laughs> I need more belts. We just got thousands of dollars on the on the floor right here, and then we got this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifestyle. There you go, baby. We doing karate? Yeah. Oh fuck, he hurt. I don't have the right <laughs> socks for you, this. Yeah, they hurt, dude. No, fuck. Ah, no, because they don't got the right sock, that's all. You want to feel, feel powerful, bro? Yes. <laughs> oh, here we Holy go. Holy fuck. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, they form to your feet, dude. Yeah. 
Someone's oh. happy that they're the same size. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I low key do, but I, I think I think these work. Oh, uh, where's the where those uh, military pants? Military. Oh yeah. You got them. I don't, I don't know if you ever seen these, but these are wild. Get my cover soon, and I get the car shot right now. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. So what do you do for work? <laughs> Trapping. Uh, yeah, I'm a credit card scammer. I can't say it on camera. Those are sick. Yeah, these are the pants, oh, crazy no. pants that go with those. What are those? Just vintage, vintage really? military. Yeah, and that's, I did all custom. Around them they, they, they do. Yeah. When I first got them, people would say they fall apart. But oh. ever since I took them, they're fine. But like, honestly, I think I'm dying with them. I'm not letting these go. Yeah, don't let these go. Right. We have my pod shorts with these. This is such a like cursed fit right now. <laughs> Was that single wow. stitch? Single stitch you got on? These come undone. Let's yeah, they come undone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even. Oh, that's. Yo, I'm about to. I'm about to level the fuck up real quick. <laughs> Damn. He's gonna post this on the story. This right there. Oh, I be working out too much on my legs. So see. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting oh, okay. this kerchief for mad long. Yeah, well, they have that too. That's hard as fuck. I want to try dude. that on so badly. Try it on. Alright, let's you run it. <laughs> oh, damn, that's a heavy hanger. I know. Dude. You need to look at it. It's thick. Uh, that's sick. That's not that bad. And then you have no space to throw on the hoodie on underneath, too. Yeah. Lighter than I thought it would be. It's the first edition, and that's the one that I tried on. Mm -hmm. That one was heavy. Are there different ones, like a spring and winter variant, or yeah. so it's just all one? Yeah, the one from 2013 has the the uh, blanket lining, mm -hmm. which makes it heavier, and then everything after that came with the uh, with this. Yeah, the rayon. I think I, I like this. It makes yeah. it a little bit more wearable and easier. I agree. It's a lot lighter. Yeah, it's very comfortable. It's so sick. I, I will admit though, the weight on the first one is really nice. I'll probably just throw on like a crew neck or something. A what? I'll probably just throw like a crew neck or something. I'd obviously do like a thermal. It's like, yeah. Overall. I always kill it on some John Locke. I should have bought the hiking boots for 40 over there at the Alameda. Antique fair. It was my size too. I don't know why I didn't. But the ones that the lady said were hers? No, the uh, some hiking boots, sixties. The Danner? Like I'll Danner show you. Style? Twelve. Yeah. Oh my god. This leather. You can feel it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this is fucking sick. I can't leave without the Bora. You can't leave without the Bora? I can't leave without the Bora. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't leave. You're gonna have to walk out naked. Yeah. <laughs> Sell everything. Yeah. Sell a, uh, Maybe sign I should a just be like, hey, you want these? Down payment. <laughs> you already have. S What's that? Those little, little splatters on them. Coffee. Coffee? I don't know if it is good, but... Anything.